Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the quiz so tough it's like gladiators for the brain. By which I mean proper Roman gladiators, where contenders fight to the death against the lion. Grrr. That's just an analogy. Our contestants won't literally be fighting wild beasts or herring around in chariots because BBC4 rejected my brilliant idea for a format change. So, sitting in the same old boring chairs, on my right... Saul Jones, an opera fan from London who studied English at Mansfield College, Oxford and likes Turkish cuisine. Emma Louisa Mutter, a former archaeologist who plays the cello and sings in a four-part a cappella group. And their captain, Chris Souton, a part-time charity worker and reluctant gardener whose first book on academic writing for foreign students was published this year. They all teach English as a foreign language at King's College London. They are the TEFL teachers. So, Chris, what sort of revision have you been doing? We've obviously been playing the, uh, the excellent wall online. Uh, we've been asking each other random questions and we've been sending each other vowelless emails all week. Excellent. Your opponents. On my left, James Kemp, a software developer who keeps chickens and can solve a Rubik's Cube in 27 seconds. Sally Wilson, a music graduate who works as an IT project manager and can play the saxophone, violin, viola, clarinet, piano and percussion. And their captain, Lynn Ashcroft, a test analyst with a degree in English who owns 10,000 books and was once chased by a bear. They are all professional computer experts. They are the IT specialists. Lynn, I'll ask you the obvious question. What brings your team here? Uh, we, we've always loved the show. We've tried very hard to get on it and we've made it. So everything now is a bonus. <laughs> well, there are bonuses available. Also <laughs> your own points. Good luck. I hope you get them. OK, thank you very much. Let's kick off then with round one. I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. The fewer clues you see before giving me the correct answer, the more points you can get. The TEFL teachers won the toss, but they've elected to put the IT specialists in first. So, Lynn, I'd like your team to choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, can we have the twisted flax, please? You certainly may. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Um, she was a mistress. She was somebody's yes, mistress. Um, yeah. She was... A dentist's mistress. I, I could have got this completely wrong. Yeah. We're, we better go next. Next, please. Ten seconds. Oh, no, she was whistlers. No, 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 they all subjects of famous paintings. They're all subjects of famous paintings. They are models for famous paintings. Quite right. Can you tell me the paintings? Mona Lisa is... Uh, Mona Lisa is... Yeah, that's Lisa Gerald. She's not a mistress at all, is yeah. it? The she third is. clue... No, she was the wife of a Florentine merchant. Yes, yes. Just the Mona Lisa. Yeah, no, no. That's Whistler's mother. And that's Whistler's, Whistler's mother. mother. Yeah, and... Um, a dentist and his sister were the models for Grant Wood's American Gothic. Oh, gosh, what yes, about yes. Sue Tilly? What's that painting? Um, is it something by Hockney or something like that? No. Sue Tilly is the model for Freud's benefit supervisor sleeping. Very well done. You've got one point. Over to the TEFL teachers to choose a question. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What is the connection here? Time starts now. Next. Game. 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 I don't know what that is. Next. Films. It's like some of this, the coldest image of the films. Well, I haven't got a clue. I don't know what it is. Oh, God. Yeah, I've like got no idea. Next. Is it better with the Kelly coach? Is this. It sounds like. Um, Ten seconds. Christie, and I get the Christie. Something I detective. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they're all detective films. They are. Not all detective films. I'm afraid I can't give you that, so there's a bonus chance for the IT specialists. We think they're American alternative names for films known by other names in, in, in England, in UK, the UK. I'll take it. I, Murder in the Calais, coach for Murder on the Orient Express. I mean, it's actually a book, but uh, of course it's also a film. Clue, the name for Cluedo, which is a, a board game, also a film, in fact. MI5 is a TV programme, Spooks. Desert Attack, that one was the film known as what in English? Ice Cold in Alex. But I'll take it, American names for British creations, that is it. So well done for the bonus. 
You may now choose your own question. Uh, could we have lion, please? I don't see why not. <laughs> what is the connection here? First clue coming up now. Can you buy a No, you should get next. Next, please. Oh, God, it's, um, it was um, a thing these out, of, out of um, Monty Python. Eric Idle. Eric Idle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, should we go for next? Oh. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Next, please. Oh. He was called Stig. They were Stig. called Stig. Stig. Yeah. Uh, they're all called Stig. They are all called Stig. You didn't need to see the last clue, which suggested <laughs> Stig of the Dump. What can you tell me about the first three clues? Well, I know the little lead, lead guitarist was, was nicknamed Stig, wasn't he? You know, yes, yeah. that was and, the name of the character. Yeah, and Abba's manager was Stig. Stig. I can't remember his surname. surname. But Stig, something like Stig have Larson. a guess. Stig Larson, Stig Larson. 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 Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 Stig. Yeah. You're close. Anderson. <laughs> Anderson, yeah. Pretty much everyone's Swedish. If they're not called Larson, they're called Anderson. <laughs> I hope that's not offensive to, to Swedish viewers. I mean it lovingly. <laughs> and what about the first one? You boy at Repton. Stig. Uh, Obviously, a new boy at Repton name, is nicknamed Stig. Why would I have thought you might know that? They, they named the Stig on the uh, the TV show um, uh, Top, Top Gear, Gear after oh. the name of a new boy at Repton because that was where so uh, Jeremy, Clarkson's... Jeremy Clarkson went. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. Jeremy Clarkson went to school there, and they named the driver after the new boy slang at Repton Stig. Very well done, Tefl teachers. It's your turn. Uh, water, please. Okay. <laughs> it's the music question. What is the connection between these pieces of music? First one coming in now. Next. Well, you don't know me. But I know you do. Next. Could be. I don't know. Do you want to go for the next one? Next. Ten seconds. Three seconds. Uh, slaves. Oh, no. Slaves is not the connection, so there's another bonus chance for the IT specialists. They've got O in the title. They've got O in the title. Yeah, they've got O in the title. They all start with O. Oh, can you tell me what we heard? Um, I don't know the first one, one no, but the second one is um, O oh, Superman. Superman from Laurie Anderson. That's right. Um, third one is O oh, Fortuna Fortune. from Carmina Burana. Burana. That's yeah. right. We didn't listen. We didn't listen to the last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh Holy Night was the last oh, one, right. and the first, the Canadian national anthem, O oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Yeah. So O oh, was the connection. You get a bonus there, and it's your turn again to choose a question. Um, can we have Eye of Horus, please? Absolutely. What's the connection here? Time starts now. It rings a bell, but yeah. I'm okay. okay. Next, please. Jesus. Jesus. Isn't that a name? Aren't they yeah. names? The names of, oh, yeah. of something. Um, no, we're yeah. going to go next. Uh, next, please. Obviously. Oh, that one isn't. They're, they're all the same thing in different languages, but I think. Yeah. But I don't know. Go on, then, the ne next, please. Yeah. Oh, oh things you. you say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, things you say when people sneeze in different languages. That's exactly right. Responses to a sneeze in different languages. What are the languages? Um, well, the German. last one's German. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, San, uh, Santino, uh, Portuguese, Portuguese or something. It is Portuguese. Portuguese. So Jesus is, is, is it Jesus, it Jesus, Jesus uh, Spanish. Spanish. And Gut uh, Halapi I have no idea. <laughs> um, Swedish. <laughs> That's right, Icelandic. Yeah, yeah. Icelandic. Okay. Icelandic. <laughs> OK, very well done. Tefl teachers, your last chance for points in this round. It's going to be the Horned Viper question. I expect these will be picture clues because we haven't seen them yet. What's the connection? First one coming up now. Next. White cat. White cat. Persian. Um, can't be Persian. Right? Next. But, uh, that's an Ottoman. Ottoman. Yeah. Yeah. Based on based on Oriental empires. I don't know who they are. I don't know. Oriental empires. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, empires, Oriental empires. Empires is good enough. You didn't need to see Roman Abramovich would have been in the last picture, but you saw Aztec Camera, the band, yeah. a Persian cat, an Ottoman. Roman would have been the last one, but after three clues, you get two points. Well done. That means at the end of round one, the Tefl teachers have got two points, but the IT specialists are ahead with six. 
On to round two, sequences. This time the teams may see up to three clues and I want to know what would the fourth one be. IT specialists, you're going first again. Please choose a hieroglyph. Um, can we have lion again, please? You certainly may. What would be the fourth clue in this sequence? Here's the first. Cretaceous stage four. So obviously going yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. Next, please. Argumentative. Uh, they're obviously stages in, in something. Yeah, I don't know which way yeah. they're going, though. Um, stage, yeah, uh, like next, them. please. Um, are they are they all states, aren't they? Of, of, um, yeah, it's um, um, talky. Talky, um, um, agreed or something, or or, or is it always? Oh, it's, it's, it's ten seconds. It's, um, um, things in a on the on your way to becoming. Well, yeah. Um, stage one. Stage, stage one. one um, unconscious. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not the answer. No, no. Devil teachers, there's a bonus chance. Stage one, silent. It is stage one, silent. And why is that? Is it to do with films? It's not. Early the answer is films. silent, so you'll get the point. Yeah. No, this is from a letter that Lord Byron wrote. It's Byron's oh. stages of a party. It's going in the wrong direction. It will yeah. begin with silence. Oh, silent, no. talky, argumentative, yes, disputatious. Yeah. Yeah. Shall I read you what he said in full in the letter? This was a letter to Thomas More, 1815. Yesterday, I dined out with a largish party where were Sheridan and Coleman, Harry Harris of Covent Garden and his brother, Sir Gilbert Heathcote, Kinnaird and others of note and notoriety. Like other parties of the kind, it was first silent, then talky, then argumentative, then disputatious, then unintelligible, then altogethery, then inarticulate, and then... Fun. Unconscious. Dead. Disputing. Did you say dead? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of parties do you go to? No, drunk. Drunk is the last one. So just like, just like the parties I have, except in my case it's silent, 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 drunk. <laughs> so you get the bonus point, despite not being sure of the connection, and it's your chance to choose a hieroglyph. Uh, twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. What is the fourth in this sequence? They're picture clues. First one coming up now. Uh, next. Oh, it's going to be trouble, trouble. Oh, it's going to be trouble, but I don't know. Okay, it's after the trouble. trouble. It's, it's one above, is it? Is it viola yeah. and then trouble? Yeah. Should we go for the third? 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 Should we go Emma will explain. Um, they're all musical clefs. The first one is um, bass clef, if I'm not mistaken, being a cellist. Um, then I think it's tenor, then viola clef, and then treble clef. Uh, alto is the third alto one. They're going by okay. pitch, getting higher. And after alto, you get treble. Well done. Ooh, score's getting closer now. Back to you, IT specialists, to choose a question. How can we have uh, Eye of Horus, please? Absolutely. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Semiquaver is known as a um, like the quarter note, so that's that's a it's a semi note. Semiquaver. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Uh, next, please. <clears throat> Something to do. With, it's an, it's divisions of eight, isn't it? It is. Yeah. That's a, a semiquaver is an eight. Oh, next, yes. Yeah. Go next. Next, please. Court. So Court. Um, like a half or something. Uh, uh, yes. A half. A half. Uh, um, what is it? So it's a half. Um, Ten seconds. Um, semi 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 half. No, no, no. just half. Um, Hello. Half. <laughs> half. <laughs> half. <laughs> Well, I'll take it. I mean, I'd like to have heard a half of something, like a semicircle, but absolutely. They're doubling fractions. In North America, a semiquaver is known as a sixteenth note. What's octa? An eighth. An eighth of something. It's in meteorology. Eighth cloud cover is that quarter, obviously a quarter, so next would be half, half of something, semicircle, for example. Well done. Back to you, TEFL teachers, to pick a question. Two reads, please. All right. What will be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Scottish rivers, yes, I don't know. Tweed, I don't know. Clyde. I don't know what the... It's like tributaries of the river, isn't it? Yes, I don't know. 
Do you want to go for the next one? I don't know, should we, we could get Clyde. Do you think that's the biggest rhythm in Scotland? Yeah, it might be, yes. I think it's tributaries going into it. I don't think the third clue's going to help us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Clyde. That is not the answer. So I'm going to show the third in a sequence to the IT specialists. No, we can't lock, lock fine. That's not it. They no, are no. locks. They're Scottish locks by volume, no. and the next would be Ness. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Good old Loch Ness. Yeah. Just Ness is the answer. IT specialists, your turn to pick a question. Can we have Horned Viper, please? Horned Viper, what's fourth mm. here? Here's the first. Neck, could be anything. Could be anything. Could be anything. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Neck. Oh, right, this is horse racing. This is horse racing. racing. Yeah, uh, it's a neck, a head, yeah. something that's manifest. And a length. length. It's a short length. 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 Do you want to go length? Do you want to go length? Yeah. Uh, length. Not the answer. Mm. So I'm going to show the third in a sequence to the TEFL teachers now for a possible bonus. Uh, a nose. It is a nose. It used to be just a sort of throwaway, oh, lost by a nose. Actually now a genuine yes. official term, and that would be the mm. shortest. So well done for the bonus mm. TEFL teachers. Your question now. Water is the last one, so that's what you'll get. What's fourth in this sequence? Time starts now. Um, Next. Next. Fever. I don't know what this is. With fever, and then something else. It's the end of a song line, isn't it? Yes, I, I don't love you. Summer. Ten seconds. I don't remember. I don't remember. I love you. Um, something around the summer. summer. I love you. I love you. Summer. I love you. Summer. Three seconds. Summer. In a hummer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't in a hummer. So there's a bonus chance for the <laughs> IT specialist. With love. With love, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> With love, in a hummer, both... I mean, you should all be lyricists. <laughs> but no, the answer is completely, and as I'm sure people will be shouting at the screen at home, it's the final verse of Alice Cooper's School's Out. Oh, school's Out forever, School's Out for summer, School's Out with fever, School's Out completely. <laughs> at the end of round two, the TEFL teachers are up to seven points. IT specialists now just ahead with eight. <laughs> Time for the connecting wall. 16 clues jumbled up that need sorting into four connected groups of four. And if you're easily bored, why not make a few phone calls at the same time or perhaps play Monopoly while simultaneously playing the walls on our website, where you'll find them now. Teffel teachers, it's your turn to go first now, and you've got a choice, lion or water? Lion, please. OK, the lion wall. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. OK, here we go. Okay. Boat race is currently rhyming slang for face. Please, fizzle, boat race. What else have we got? Kisser, that's what now specifically, isn't it? Um, Smiler. Smiler. That's what the mouth is, isn't it? Smiler. 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 Kisser. Try kisser. Kisser, kisser. Fizzle. No. OK. Tag. Oh, these are Facebook, yeah. social media things. Like tag, hope, block. Things you can do on Facebook. Share sure. like. Unfriend. Animals in. Unfriend. OK. Oh, we've got six there, isn't yeah. it? So we've got cat. Dog in a manger, cat in a hot tub, yeah. pig in a poke. And... Be in a bonnet. Be in a bonnet, good, OK. okay. So we've got five now of the, yeah. the Facebook ones. Mm. So like, like tag, tag, block. Unfriend. Share. So unfriend. People. OK, so leave out share, yeah. OK. So leave out like. Mm. OK, leave out tag. OK, leave out block. block. Okay, so three right strikes now. and okay. you're out now. So it's faces now again. So we've got no. boat race, fizz. So what are the other ones? So um, kisser, bum, chip, chip. Okay, so fizzle, boat yeah. race, smiler and, and, and a mug. So okay. those three, definitely, aren't they? Yeah, OK. And then one of kisser or smiler. So it would mean probably block. About Chip. halfway through the time. And Bunner would be together. What are what's the so connection between those three? Um, burger. Yeah. Burger. Um, block. Are they, block. Is it something in sport? Is it like oh, block yes. a tackle? Yeah. Chip. Chip the ball in something? I don't know what that is. I don't know what this would be. Mm. Okay. Uh, Kiss and Smiler, though. Mm. Maybe those two yeah. go together with those two and then Block, Mug, Chip, Bun go together. Should we mm. try that one? Mm. That's it. You've solved the wall. Very well done. So that's four points for the groups you found, and I'll give you bonus points for the connections. So the first one, poke, hot tin roof, bonnet, manger. Ex expressions or titles with, with animals in them. That's right. They are phrases that can be turned into idioms if you include animals. 
Tag, unfriend, share, like. Um, there are all things you can do on Facebook or a social networking site. That's right, things you can do on Facebook, which is one of the many excellent social networking sites that yeah. we at the BBC refuse to privilege over each other. Quite right, too. And the next one, boat race, fizzog, smiler, kisser. Slang terms for face. That's it, slang for the face. And the last one, <clears throat> block, mug, chip, bun. Uh, sports terms. Tell me about bun. <laughs> bun? Uh, I mean, I personally have a bun before and after doing any sport and often in the middle, but what sport were you thinking of? It's one of the things in rugby. Yeah. You know, I like mean, it a isn't. A rack or a mall or a scroll. It could be. Or a yeah. OK, not, though. <laughs> mug? mug? I mean, mugging is discouraged <laughs> in most sports. But you can mug a, a tackle. It's a well-known phrase down our way. Is it? Yes. Is it? Well, I'm afraid I'm not going to accept it because I'm not from down your way. <laughs> now, I'm sorry you don't recognise our old friends... Mr. Block the Barber, Mr. Mug the Milkman, Mr. Chip the Carpenter, Mr. Bun the Baker. They're from Happy Families. But you did find all four groups and you got three extra points for the connection, so that's a total of seven points. Well done. Time to bring back their opponents to see what they can do with the connecting wall. 16 new clues still sorted in the same way if they get it right. Welcome back, IT specialists. OK. Like a pub when I've been in it for the evening, only water remains. The water wall is yours. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. OK, cool. Uh, temperature. temperature. Ambient temperature. Oh, um, types of music. Types Techno, of music. house, um, breakbeat. Breakbeat, possibly. Euro. Yeah, Euro music. No. Um, okay. you, you go for Okay, let's no, try yeah, right, right, We've got a sitting, we've got a boycott, we've got a picket. Pickets, a okay. march. So, and a march. Or a walkout. And a walkout. Walk okay, yeah, got okay, that one. Right. Okay, so. Um, ambient, um, something in the background. Yeah, but beat, ambient beat, music. Beat, beat, ambient music, yes, there is an ambient um, music, isn't yeah, there? Ambient. Ambient. Techno. Techno. Um, isn't it industrial um, music as well? Um, house. House. Should we try it? Yeah. No, no. no. Um, um, okay, right, let's think of something else. Okay, right. Dashwood. Was, Dashwood, um, character in, character in, 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 in Austin. Yeah. Is it in oh, the something? March. The March. March. Uh, they were sisters. Yes, yeah, yeah. Dashwood. Uh, uh, yes. Sisters. March sisters. sisters. Do we have more Mortmain sisters? sisters? Possibly. It's a name, isn't it? Yeah. You can try it. Yeah. Okay, have um, sisters. House um, sisters. Give it a go. Give it a go. Give it a go. No, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> fossil sisters. Okay. I don't know. Do we have fossil sisters? Fossil fuels. Fossil fuels. Try, try. Oh, no, that's no. not um, Okay, what's a bureau? Um, a bureau to a bureau change. Is, is a bureau to change. Um, it's uh, another name for a, um, a, an office. Um, yeah. Do you want to have a go at the music fuel. again? Do you want to have another go at the music again? Okay, Just so go through the got? music. We've got um, techno. Techno. It's break, break. I can't leave anything else. So it's break, break beat. Be. Yeah. Um, house music. You've got a minute left. Okay. Ambient. Oh, Shall I just keep doing yeah. this? Yes. No. Um, okay, a what? demo. A demo tape. Yeah, um, demo, demo tape. tape. Techno, um, can you have industrial music? Yes, you can. Ambient techno. Oh. Okay, we, uh, okay uh, right, uh, let's think of these sisters then. Yeah. More, okay. More. Okay, breakbeat. Uh, March. What name? No. no. Um, um, uh, sisters. Uh, are, we, are, we, are we looking for a, a red herring here? We are, um, maybe. Yeah. Oh, we are. Ambient. I'm sure ambient must be. Yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah, go, okay, go for the music again. No, yeah. not doing it. Okay, no. what goes with fossil? Fossil, fossil, kind of fossil music, possibly. I don't know. No. Fossil fuel, no, textile, fossil industrial. Um, industrial. Demo. I think it's a demo tape. Industrial. No, no. no. Okay. Ten right, seconds. Let's give it a go. Yeah. Um, not doing it. Fossils. Oh, yeah, yeah. There, go. there you go. There you go. And you're out of time. So you found two groups. I will give you more points if you can tell me. The connections, picket, boycott, sit-in, walk-out. Types, types of protest. Yeah, protest. types of industrial action. Types uh, yeah. of protest. Yeah. March, Fossil, Dashwood, Mortmain. They must be the literary sisters. Literary sisters. Sisters in books, the March yeah. sisters from Little Women. Dashwoods you knew from Sense and Sensibility. Mm -hmm. Mortmain from mm -hmm. I Capture the Castle. Oh, okay. right. And the Fossil sisters are in ballet shoes. Yeah. OK, you can still get bonus points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. What about that ambient house breakbeat industrial? Types of music. Uh, type, well, types of... I mean, I wouldn't say yeah, yeah. so, but that, <laughs> that is the connection. Types of electronic music industrial, you didn't know. I'm reliably informed yeah. that is at the experimental end of the electro-dance spectrum. 
Oh, there you go. Person I'm more of a fan of, of fossil music. Yeah. Frank Sinatra, that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. And the last one, techno, demo, bureau, crat. euro. Crat. 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 They're all cratic or crats. Crat. Crat. You can follow them by yeah. crat. So you found two groups and you got all four points for the connections. That's a total of six. Let's see how the scores look going into the final round. The TEFL teachers are up to 14. The IT specialists also have 14. So it's going to be a rather nerve-wracking round four. If you can't take the tension and need to run away, you'll find more connecting walls on our website where you can even write your own. But there's no escape for you guys. We must play the missing vowels round. We've taken the vowels out of well-known names, phrases or sayings and squidged up the consonants. I want to know what the disguised words are. Fingers on buzzers. The first group are all films about sport. Devil. Invictus. Correct. Don't know this one. It's a skateboarding movie, Gleaming the Cube. Next clue. Specialists. International Velvet. That's right. Specialists. Cool Runnings. Also correct. Next category, Methods of Advertising. Specialists. A sandwich board. Correct. Tefl. Direct, Direct mail. mail. Correct. <laughs> this is an online one. Interstitial. Next clue. Specialists. Hand up. Correct. Next category. Circus performers. Tefl. Bareback rider. Correct. Devil. Escape artist. Correct. This is a tricky one. Too late, I'm afraid. Aerialist. Next clue. Devil. Fire eater. Correct. Next category. Gadgets. Devil. Baby monitor. Yes, it is. Eyelash curlers. Correct. Specialists. Footstool. Yes. Tevil. Coin sorter. That's correct. Next category, African capitals. Well, you buzzed there, IT specialists, and perhaps you're going to say Cairo, but too late because the bell has rung for the end of the quiz. And the IT specialists finish on an excellent 19, but just ahead with 22 are the TEFL teachers. Well done, TEFL teachers. You'll be back for the quarterfinals. We'll see you again then. IT specialists, I'm terribly sorry. Thank you for playing. It was lovely to meet you. I'm afraid, though, for you gladiator style, it's that. <laughs> Of course, ancient Roman scholars are divided now about what the thumbs down actually meant. So let me clarify, here it means that the contestants will be executed. It's the only way to incentivise them without prizes. Goodbye. Coming up this evening here on BBC4, how Rome led the way not only in empire and conquest, but in art and architecture too. Alistair Sook explores the treasures of ancient Rome in part one of his groundbreaking new series, next.